What is going on, YouTube? This is Jay Marvel here with uh, episode. Let's see, I don't even know what episode this is. 14? Episode 14 of Let's Play Dark Souls Remastered. Um, so, this is actually like episode 14, part 2. <laughs> so, I started recording it earlier, and my computer uh, crashed, and it stopped recording, and it was like the file was corrupted or whatever. So, I ended up not. I ended up losing that footage good thing is, is the only thing we really did was um, talk to the NPC down here in New Londo Ruins. Um, we died a couple times. Um, that's why the death counter is now up to 41. Um, but yeah, that's really all we did is we, we kind of did most of the first part of Anor the L New Londo Ruins. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to make our way uh, back to where that NPC's at. I can't remember how I died the last time. I think I got, like, killed by these kind of things. These ghosts. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I forget about, like, the, the quick step. Like, the dodge step attack. Like, whew, that. That's a good one. Jagged ghost blades. We got one of those, actually, the last episode. Uh, it's got a pretty cool moveset. It's pretty cool. Uh, I might upgrade that. It's not, the scaling on it's not very good, though, is the problem. Um, okay, so we come up here. Yeah, so my problem, and I talked about it last episode. Um, not last episode, the, when I tried recording earlier. Um, I hate these ghosts. These ghosts suck. Because they come out from everywhere. Um, like, the, the walls, the ceiling behind you, to the side of you, every, and they got a hell of a reach, too. Okay. We switched to a faster weapon to see if that would help with these ghosts, because, yeah, the claymore was good, but we were still also having a two-shot them unless we did the R2. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, we have 17 humanities and four, so, okay. We're not quite there for the, um... Chaos Servant Covenant or whatever. Did we? No. Oh, I remember what happened. We fell off an edge. We tried to... Uh, I was trying to... Jump from, I think, the roof of this building? I'm not quite sure. I'll show you when we get there. And <laughs> I thought we could make a jump, and we didn't. We weren't able to, so I gotta remember my souls are up there. So hopefully. <laughs> really, hopefully we make it to my souls. Because this right here is the, the hardest part for me. Um, let's just make our way past these guys. Man, I wonder if I could... I don't want to, like, run past anything, because there's just... Like, coming after me? I don't think so. So I notice, like, these guys... They'll go away if you go back too far. And this guy comes out of nowhere. God, get back. Go, stop! Their freaking reach is ridiculous. And it's so, like, dang like dangerous right here. Because you could fall off a ledge at any point. Which is what I tend to do. You guys are just sketching me out, really, to be honest with you. <coughs> Excuse me. Could you guys, like, come out? There you go. Eat that. Fire's pretty handy for these guys. Come on out. Okay, really? Okay, reset, reset, reset. Nope, that's not it. Nope, you got me. This 
part, I swear. This part gives me the most trouble in this whole area, besides from, like, dark rays down below. Um, let's go kill her, because I don't trust her. Holding her, baby. Okay, um... Hopefully that was everybody. Out of Estus Flask, sorry. How do I only have five? Uh, that's confusing. I hate ghosts. Almost more than I hate the skeletons or the mosquitoes. Okay, we don't want to go there yet. See, I tried jumping from that point right there. Yeah, it didn't work. So my souls are right there. Oof. Yeah, do not recommend. Let's just go down this way. There's an item up there that we ended we got. So yeah, I'm kind of bummed because you guys don't get to see if you're watching for like item placement or anything. You guys won't get to see that, which is kind of a bummer. I wonder if it'll hit him. No. Um, but that's okay. So we can come back this way. Open this up with the key to the seal. And then let's open it. that work those guys did to like seal that away let me go and ruin it okay so we I mentioned this uh, last time um, I think we are not talking to King Sinker Framped at Firelink Shrine because that's why we're going to this first um, because we want the alternate ending there's two endings um, one is when you talk to King Sinker Frampt and you do what he wants you to do by returning the Lord Vessel. Uh, he takes you to go return the Lord Vessel to wherever it's spot and then you go around and collect the Lord Souls. But we're doing it a little different. We're ignoring him. And we're going to the Abyss. And this is the way to the Abyss. Okay, we went that way, we went that way. It's time to go down. Okay, this part of New Londo is going to be freaking um, hellacious with no Estus. And I don't want to use all these humanities because we need to get the Chaos Servant stuff. Okay, here comes our first Dark Wraith. Here he comes down those stairs right there. You can parry them. It is not the easiest thing to do. I wonder if this will cause bleed damage to him. No, a kick to the face. Man, that's a sh like a shield. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Those guys are tough. Those guys are tough. That's fine. I didn't ha I had no Estus, so now we can kind of take it the way I like to take it. That's why we had only five um, Estus flasks. Because we were there. Uh, we were there, we were picking up um, Knight Lotrix armor set. It spawns above the spa, uh, Smog and Ornstein uh, boss, boss arena. Okay, now we got to And uh, to like if you're facing the door you come in or if you're facing the Guinevere uh, it's to the right and like down the walkway to that side so yeah um, okay so we have 10 S's now we're good so yeah we, we picked that up and then we made our way back to, to, to Firelink Shrine where we warped back that's such a beautiful feature 
And I kind of like that it's earned in this game. Other than the other ones, like, it's just, you basically... <coughs> it's also kind of earned, but at the same time, it's not. Like, you got to get to the bonfires that you need to warp to. But at the same time, like, you can warp back to Firelink at any time and, like, level up and all that. Like, and, but you don't get to level at every bonfire. So that, like, there's just different things that I like about 3, 2, and 3, really. Um, and Bloodborne. And then there's things that I like more about this. Like, I like that you can look, level up and do all your stuff at bonfires. Um, <clears throat> I also like that, um, like I said, the, uh, okay, we need to put one of these on. The fact that you earn the ability to warp is really cool. And it couldn't come at, like, a better time. Because, at not, like... Up to this point, everything's kind of been linear as far as, like, okay, you're going to go here, and then at the end of that, like, it pretty much takes you to the next place. Like, with the end game, which is kind of where we're at now, we're basically attempting to get the four Lord Souls. Um, they're a lot more spread out amongst different parts of the map. So, there's another Dark Wraith. Oh my god, I can't... I can't time the freaking parry for some reason. Get that out of there. Let's get a backstab on him first. So I can heal. Um, that's a two-handed attack. Don't try to parry two-handed attacks. You either can't, or you just end up getting punished. I need to add two deaths. Two deaths count. This is going to be a rough one. This is a rough one. I am... I think I'm going to switch back to... Just because of the range. And, like, I'll use it probably in... Um, Duke's Archive. And we'll plus, when we get to plus ten, I'll use that weapon. But I think... I think for the sake of range and, like, kind of like a little knock or stagger effect, I'm going to go back to the Claymore. Um... Those guys, I gotta get the parrying right, timing on them right. It's been a while since I've. Well, I mean, I just finished another playthrough, but yeah, I can't. Yeah, can we've already kind of basically at the end game. We have this. Um, that'll give us one Lord Soul, and then from here we'll go to back to Anorlando to the Duke's Archives. Uh, it's a new area there, um, and then after the Duke Archives. Uh, which is probably going to be a long one. That's probably going to be two episodes. But it's kind of two parts. Um, actually, it's almost like three parts. Uh, and then after that, we'll probably go... Let's see, we'll have... Which ones will we have left to do? Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, then we'll probably go... I'm trying to decide maybe if we go to Lost Isolith first, or if we'll go to... Maybe we'll go to Lost Isolith after this. Um, maybe we'll do Lost Isolith last. Because uh, the other one is Catacombs, Tomb of the Giants. Oh, that's... No, 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 no. I was focusing on what I was saying too much and didn't even notice that I didn't have it transit. These guys, I swear to God. Didn't notice I didn't have a transit curse on, so that was fun. Okay. I was too busy thinking of what I was going to do before even beating this area. And I still have to beat the boss, and there is no summoning. I'm soloing that one, <laughs> no matter what, because there is no so summon. I didn't. I don't have a chance. I didn't do something a prerequisite. I wonder if that's going to affect if I can get an armor set. Well, that's doing more damage on the backstab, so that's why. I Okay. 
We've killed our first Dark Wraith, everybody. I think. I don't know what that's to. I can't remember. What's over here? Yeah, it's just a drop off. There's our souls over there. We got an item from over there. That's just a drop off. Is there anything? Oh, yeah, there's a hint. Um. There's somebody down there. Come on, dude. Come fight me. I feel like uh, Achilles. Fight me! Is that Achilles? Was that a Troy? Jesus. These guys are dangerous. This guy's hit. Okay, 1200. And then there's an item down here. So if we die, we won't have to like go back and fight this guy again. Like, it's just an item. Titanite chunk. Okay. Cool. This next part kind of sucks. Kind of hard. But I don't think we're going to go do it yet, because I know where that leads. This is what I'm curious about. Is this over here? I think this is if we were to be going the way we were supposed to go. This is where we would have ended up. Oh, there's a mass of souls. Those things also hurt. And you gotta watch out because they'll shoot little spears out at you. We gotta make sure we got all the dark wraiths. I know there's, I think there's three of them in this room. I wonder, you know what would be effective? I like this one because it does the follow-up damage, like the from the lava. Let's keep moving side to side. Okay. They give a lot of souls too. Five thousand. Okay, you gotta look in these. There's one. I think there's one more down there to the right. Got him. I don't think he's dead. Nope. Hey, man. Don't let that touch you. At all. It's a grab attack. And it hurts. A lot. Okay, so... Yeah, um... What's this way? Oh, hey! Soul item. I think this is where we died earlier. See that little stagger we got there? That's what we were missing from the Dark Knight sword. Or the, wow, the uh, painted guardian sword. There is an item over there, but we're going to wait. To go get that. I'm not going to do that right now. His shield's still active. That's weird. Um, is there anything over here? No. Okay. So that's the Valley of the Drakes. And when we were in the very sec the second episode, when we ran through here, we went up that way. And that takes you to um, the Darkroot Basin. Or if we hung, if we went over that bridge and hung a right, that would take us uh, up to Firelink Shrine um, that way. So yeah, I guess you could, like, if you wanted to, instead of, like, dealing with the ghosts and all that, you can just run up this way. But you still have to fight all these dark wraiths. Okay, so we came in from that way. What is this way? This looks very trappy.
Solar Brave Warrior, and what's coming out at me? Like, this looks like way too, like, much like an ambush spot. I'm, like, freaking out. Hearts are racing. Is this... No, this isn't... We never got that chest. I don't understand how we're supposed to get that chest. Has this taken us to that chest? I think it... It is! Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I'm more worried about an ambush still. Hey, very, there's the very large ember. So, oh yes, it's on. This thing is going to be smacking people. Alright, um... I'm kind of tempted... Oh, I'm kind of tempted to put on that uh, Ring of Favor and Protection against... Oh no. Mm. I'm kind of actually tempted to go back to Andre. And level this bad boy up as high as we can. Uh, where did I come from? Oh. And level this bad boy up before the boss fight, since we are not going to be able to summon a very helpful summon. Uh, I do know that, so the wh Witch Beatrice is a very helpful summon. Oh, another humanity, sweet. Uh, a very helpful summon in this boss fight coming up. So where do we have left to go? Oh, okay, I know where we have to go. Okay, we're basically headed to the boss now. The problem is, is we're going to lose this roll anyways. But we have to have, a, there's another ring we have to have attached. Large Soul of the Proud Knight, okay. I think we have enough souls that we can, if we die, we can head to Andre really quick, get situated, and then head back. I would like definitely pause and do that off camera, like I'll run to Andre off camera, or not run, just teleport to Andre real quick. Cut in and then cut back out. Okay, I feel like something was coming. This is up above where we just were. No items here. Okay. <clears throat> Odd area. Okay, so and we got some cracked red eye orbs back there if we needed them, but we're not even in online mode, so this part is tends to be kind of tricky. You got a mass of souls down there. Um, there's a dark race somewhere. And then you got ghosts. <laughs> to top it all off, you got ghosts. And with that... That dude hitting as hard as they do, it's not easy. Come on. Train. Oh, I was locked onto the fucking ghost. Well, see you guys at uh, Andre's. That might be the finest. Okay, we're giving him the uh, ember now. You leave that ember with me. I'm just an old smith. I'd give my left arm for a gem like that. You can have it, man. I don't know what to do with well, it. Thank you mightily for that. No problem. No. Just leave the rest to me. Andre of Astora gets the job done. You shall see. Interesting, his is like the only mouth that moves. Uh, and King Seeker Framped. Okay, let's do it. How much are we doing now? Two six. Damn. Okay, well, that's it. For now, until we find some Titanite chunks. Killed. And then we have a Titanite slab, so we can get to to 15. Go hollow. Um, let's see how much damage we're doing. 236 plus 142 is 376. Okay. Um, I kind of want to... Well, uh, me... Okay. All right. Well, um, we'll see you back when uh, we get to uh, New Londo.
All right, we're back in New Londo, and I want to see. We should be able to one-shot these guys now, no problem. Yeah, Nelton Ghosts now. Uh, and I'm curious at how much, like, I, we definitely are going to be able to parry kill Dark Race now. That's good. That's not no longer a two-shotter. Get away from that. How much does a backstab do? Ooh, a backstab is a one-shot kill now. Sweet. How are the possibilities now? Come on out, Dark Wraith. I need you. I need you. There you are. Yes, sir. Now I can deal with you. I think there's quite a few ghosts in here. There's also one more Dark Wraith that I know of. There he is. That's also why it's nice to one shot those ghosts now, because they were kind of getting in the way last time. Let's just backstab. Backstab? Nope. Okay. Oh, God, that scared the shit out of me. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Okay, I hated on that spell, and now all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute. Oh my. Why am I losing health? What is this? Oh god, what was that? Yeah, I see you little scullies. Get out of my way. Alright, it's time for the... Oh, thank god, I was running low on those. It's time for the boss? Question mark? Nobody's coming. Okay. I hope it's a first run kill. That'd be cool. Alright. Here we go. So, what you gotta do... This is why I said we're gonna lose our role. Is you gotta equip the Covenant of Artorius. So we're gonna have this this role now. Which is fine. Um, trying to decide how I wanna go at this. So yeah, you have to have that ring equipped uh, in order to... Go to the abyss. This is make me dizzy. <laughs> Should be there. Yeah, okay. So you get to the end of the stairwell and. The abyss. Okay, now we gotta keep our eye out. Keep our eye out. Where is he? There he is. Okay. Let me sprint. That's oh, a lot less dramatic without the music. So, you've got to kill multiple of these. It's not just a one and done, there's four of them. Actually, I think there's five. The key is to kill them before the other one spawns in. Just like that. Now we gotta keep an eye out for the next one. Uh, I, yeah, I turned the music volume down because one of my videos got flagged for copyright. Um, so I'm not actually trying to do that again. It was for the Smog and Ornstein fight. It found copyright on that music. Okay, heal. I wonder how a fireball would do. Not bad. Okay. 
I will pop humanity if I run out of Estus here. Should have two more left to kill. This guy and one other. That one hurt. That one did too. Why does this guy hurt more? Definitely missing that roll. Oh no. Oh no! Let me go! Okay, let's kill him so he can... I thought he was closer to death than that. Did he like absorb? Should be the final one if we kill him fast enough. It's the depth perception too that this boss kinda makes it difficult. Okay, that's good damage. He's one hit away. Got him. First run. Four kings. All right. Solo, too. Do you need which Beatrice? All right. Wow. Bequeathed Lord Soul Shard. Oh, hey. That was intense. Well, we did it. We did it. We did it. So we've got 21 humanity plus. We're at 29 humanity. We just need one more humanity and we can get the shortcut open. And we need to do that before we go to Lost Isolith. Okay, so level up. Let's get some levels pumping. Let's get pumped up in vitality up to 25. Wow. Okay, so we are going to go and talk to homeboy Greetings, here. undead warrior. I am the primordial serpent, dark stalker Khan. I can guide thee and illuminate the truth. The truth I shall share without sentiment. After the advent of fire, the ancient lords found the three souls, but your progenitor found a fourth, unique soul, the Dark Soul. Your ancestor claimed the Dark Soul and waited for fire to subside, and soon the flames did fade, and only Dark remained. Thus began the Age of Men, the Age of Dark. However, Lord Gwyn trembled at the dark, clinging to his Age of Fire and in dire fear of humans and the Dark Lord who would one day be born amongst them. Lord Gwyn resisted the course of nature by sacrificing himself to link the fire and commanding his children to shepherd the humans. Gwyn has blurred your past to prevent the birth of the Dark Lord. I am the primordial serpent. I seek to right the wrongs of the past, to discover our true lord. But the other serpent, Frabt, lost his sense and befriended Lord Gwyn. Undead warrior, we stand at a crossroads. Only I know the truth about your fate. You must destroy the fading Lord Gwyn, who has coddled fire and resisted nature, and become the fourth Lord, so that you may usher in an age of dark. Okay. Very well. I shall now guide you to Gwyn's prison. 
Be still, and trust thine flesh to me. This is Gwyn's prison. Now, place the Lord Vessel upon the altar. Can I go? What's over there? So that's kind of cool, because like, when I've done the other option, and because he, you're coming from the abyss, he's like up right but because he's coming from to Firelink Shrine King's Eater Ramp he hangs upside down when he's down here that's pretty cool okay let's place the Lord Vessel it's so much bigger than I thought it was we just been carrying that around Under the sky, and as a result, we haven't seen these yet, but um, these open up. So I don't know which one that one was. That's uh, Duke's archives. Oh, that must have been the uh, Tomb of the Giants because there's Lost Eyes of Lith. And huh, okay. All right. You see if he has anything else to say. Very well. Once the vessel is filled with souls, the gate to Gwyn shall open. Seek Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, and the traitor Seath the Scaleless. Fill this vessel with their souls. Then the gate will open so that you may kill Gwyn. Fair enough. Are you ready? Then let us return to the abyss and trust thine flesh to me. Not this again. Do you know of a better way of doing it, man? Okay. Does he have anything else to tell us? Ah. If you wish, I shall grant the art of life drain, the legendary power of the Dark Lord. It can preserve your humanity while undead, and cast off the shackles placed upon your brethren. Center's covenant. Oh hey, I guess I haven't done this before. Oh yeah, I, uh, I haven't done this before. The Dark Hand. Um, offer humanity. Ask for covenant item. Oh, okay. Um, talk. Undead warrior. To speak now is premature. It begins with your retrieval of the Lord Vest. Got it. Okay. Um, so let's go back to this fire. I want to see. What is this dark hand? Is it a weapon? If it's a weapon, I'm gonna... It's a weapon. 200 physical damage. The dark... Oh, is it the red hand thingy the dark race do? In the dark race incited by Kath, use the power of the dark soul to absorb humanity and an art shared with this weapon, which also acts as a special shield. Oh. oh! 
How do we do that? Does it go do something different? I see. Ah, okay. I see. So, what if we did this? Oh my god, you guys. We gotta go try it out. Uh, finally, train. Let's just go there. What? I did not know this was a thing. Is it any good? Like, is the shield good? Because if the shield's good, I might just use the shield. Well, you, mm, can you parry with the... Okay. We're going to do some... There's some science time. Okay, first and foremost. It's a... Okay. He's got some, so he's got some taking and getting used to. Ah, uh, can you improve on it? Okay, now the next question. How effective of a shield is it? And can you parry with the hands? Okay, it's not bad as a shield. Okay, can we parry with our hand? Yes, we can. Okay. Alright, well, uh, we can hold on to it for a while. You got anything new to sell me there, bud? Hey, Shemai. I didn't expect to meet, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, any new armor? Oh, I need to get Ornstein's gauntlets, but it doesn't look like any new armor. Okay, um, really quick. We need to go to Blighttown. And I'm wondering, do I have a warp point? I like that dark hand, don't get me wrong. I just don't like how slow the attack is. There we go. That's that's my issue with it. Okay, do we have a think Daughter of Chaos would probably be the closest thing. Yeah, let's go there. Okay, so the next thing is Daughter of Chaos. Okay, let me while we're doing this, check off. Did that, we did that, did that, yep, 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 yep. Yep. Did all that. Oh, we did not do that, actually. Okay. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep, we did that. Okay. So, actually, the next thing we'll use is the Duke's archives. Uh, we don't have enough immunity for that. Don't care about you. Yeah, so the next will be Duke's Archives. And we are doing DLC as well. I have not done the DLC. I've done the very introductory part of it, and then I stopped because the enemies in the garden were messing me up, and it was no fun. So, yeah. We will be doing the DLC which will be good before we fight Gwyn, as we've learned. So yeah, we need to fight Gwyn and become become the Dark Lord. And also start upon, start the Age of Man, I guess. So yeah, King Seeker Framp was like, man, my homie is uh, Gwyn, and uh, we want to keep this whole Age of Fire going. Screw the humans. Mm-mm. We're going to go in that shit right now. Well, not right now, but you know what I mean. 
So we've got one of the three, or one of the four Lord Souls needed to open the door to, oh, to Gwyn. Uh, so we need Sita Scalus, Nido, and the lost, the Witch of Isolith, or whatever. Ah. Uh, it oh, has no. been some time. Get away from the merchant, please. Ah, uh, truth be told, I thought you had perished. No confidence. Okay, we want to buy... Yes. We're going with that. We're going with that. Now go, whatever you best might. See if we get souls. All right, let's tell my bone. And get ready to prep for our next episode. Because the next episode, we need to go back to Anorlando. Anorlando. We'll go ahead and just rest here. We'll just go ahead and call from here. We'll, we'll, we'll move. Oh, let's attune magic. I feel like Great Firewall takes precedence over Firewall. And I feel like, honestly, Firewall. Okay, let's do. Let's, let's fix this. This is going to be okay. Boom, Firewall. Boom. Great. Oh, okay, I know what I'm confused about. Chaos Fireball. Boom. Okay. That's what, I forgot I have two of the Fireballs, so I meant to stack them. Okay, so we have... Great Fireball. I want to see what that looks like. Okay. I'm impressed. Alright, guys. Uh, the, we, we did it. We... we, we cleared New Londo and we beat the Four Kings and we did it all first try. We did the Four Kings first try. Uh, so yeah, let's hope the, uh, the last three bosses go that way because the first few bosses did not go that way for me at all. Uh, until next time, uh, I'm Jay Marvel. Please hit that subscribe and like button. It helps a lot. Uh, see you guys next time.